Welcome to the show that literally takes it to the streets. No studio, no budget, no problem. It's Flatbed Tonight with your host, Chris Pies. Just a second. I gotta make sure my breaths are right. Don't we all? Well, your your wife did. Any action we can get, my friend. Ah, uh, you know it. You get. know it. She came so close to me. I thought I was getting lucky. Well, I've had a lot of those letdowns myself. <laughs> you know we're buddies. I don't even know your name. How come people don't know my name? Is the question. It's on a goddamn sign, and people don't even know the Flat name. Flatbed tonight with Chris Haas. Yeah. Haas. They were trying to use your name downstairs as Haas from Holland. That's Haas okay. from Holland. Are from you from Holland. Holland? No, I'm not. No, oh, okay. But, but. I'm feeling know, good tonight. I'll take it. Are you? Yeah. I think that's an important thing. Hi, and welcome to Flatbed tonight. I'm your host, Chris Hawes, and uh, this is Lawrence Lean <laughs> joining me. Lawrence, thanks hey, for coming Chris. on the show. Appreciate it. I hear you are uh, now reached the age of majority. Oh, yeah. Yesterday I reached um, double 30s, so that's sort of like. Double 30s is like that? Yeah, it's 60. Yeah, it's 60, yeah. but I might go 50 because I met somebody who said, how old are you? And I said, 60. And she says, you look younger than me. And she was 54, so double 25s. So, yeah, but you take those compliments. Because you know what? You, you say you look younger, then they say, Christ, you look like shit for 50. Yeah, I know. I, li- I understand that you like porn. No, food porn. Food porn. I oh, like okay. porn porn, but I like food porn too. But tell me and the viewers what food porn is. Well, and don't look at those because they're not going to see it. No, this no, is like camera. food food porn yeah. yesterday was like this cowboy cut ribeye steak. It had a long rib yeah, I and a one. big thing down below. Looked like food porn to me. And, and did you have it? I ate the whole thing and I had to share it. Don't now, look. normally I wouldn't... Share? No, I wouldn't share. My dog needed the bone. Yeah, well. But uh, somebody else was hungry at the table, so I did share, unfortunately. Well, you know what? i got to tell you something. There's nothing like a big slab of meat. 22 ounces. Wow. Ribeye, cowboy cut. Uh, you know what? I've had, there, in, in my day, I've finished a few of those. Yeah, and the ground, hey, do you want ground pepper on it? So this guy comes out with this thing. It's like a baseball bat. Jose Batista could use it. Did he fling it at the end? Uh, he could have flung it. Pissed off. He could have flung it, but I tell you, Jose Batista needs a, a better bat than he's using. Wow. You know you what? Know, hey, mm, new contract. Rogers. Yeah. You management. Know. Money. They don't have enough money from Canada. I don't even use Rogers anymore. So now I'm on Freedom. Freedom, freedom? Mobile. Oh, absolutely. I'm freedom there mobile. before you. Well, here's the problem. It's freedom from answering calls. It's freedom from getting text messages. It's just freedom. Does anyone know your number, though? Oh, yeah, it's the same number. It's important that they know your number. Absolutely. Then you get messages and stuff. Yeah, I know. They do that. Uh, Chris Haas. Yeah. Message him. Exactly. Pound Chris Haas. So so you're from Toronto. You live in Toronto. I was from Toronto. Then my manager stole me to Ottawa. Your manager? My manager could not handle non-resident tax audit. I was a Canada Revenue Agency non-resident tax auditor. Complicated so you business. You was. You were tired? I, I was, and then I became a senior compliance specialist, which means I know everybody's business in Canada. I, I, Ouch. I, I got to tell, tell you something about taxes. My father was always proud that he raised kids who paid taxes. He used to say, I got raised six kids, and they all are paying taxes in a high bracket because he was, his father was a socialist, really. Yeah. Okay, he was a union organizer. Pierre Trudeau. Day. Well, no, yeah, but no, 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 I'm not talking about my, my dad. My no, dad. but Pierre Trudeau was somewhat, yeah, somewhat yeah, but socialist. Much. But the point is, is that it's good to pay taxes. But I'm uh, going to tell you something. I'm yeah. fucking sick of it. i got to tell you right now. I pay too we many can th- use F-bomb. Yeah. I'm totally sick of it. Oh, I, it's too much. I, I want to tell taxes. you something. I want to tell you something. My goal in life is to pay the most taxes possible. Do you know why? I'd make a ton of money. Exactly. I'd make a ton of money, and with those taxes, we'd have better roads, better schools, better recreational things, better tourists everywhere, Yeah. Uh, better government. Kathleen Wynne may not spend all the money properly, but you know, somebody would outfox her for winning. Now she's you a good runner. You said outfox, right? Outfox, okay, yeah, right. outfox. Maybe another woman. Yeah. Women seem to be tight with the money. Hazel McCallion, Mississauga's mayor for like 55 yeah. years. 
I lived in Mississauga. I was happy. I'm really mad. Don't Why? start me on Watson. Listen, Watson went all the way to Seattle to try and win the Amazon. Jeff uh, Bezos is not even going to listen to him. Well, He'd listen to a fellow like me. I'll tell you, because you know, one of the NAFTA negotiators spoke up about that. They asked him, well, what do you think about Jim Watson? He goes, are you fucking kidding me? Do you think, <laughs> do you think that they're going to locate in Canada? I like you even more. You know? Like, I like you even more. So, Why would you want slave pick em work here in Ottawa? Well, I don't mind having I'd love to have the work. The drones. The no, drones no. will be flying everywhere. It, you know what? That's not the issue. Honestly, they're not going to let a company Let me. Let me I want to know the issue. The issue is... Should Jeff bring them to, to Ottawa? I want to know. Jeff absolutely. is a friend of mine. Is he? Well, I, yeah. I say absolutely. And I'll tell you why. Why? Because we, we, we need more employment. We need employment for people who aren't skilled labor. Who, you know what I mean? We lost the, the low-end manufacturing jobs when Nortel left and all of yeah. those pieces of yeah. oh, the puzzle. The, the, the that rotary dial was important. Do you know what? It was good gear, though. Yeah. But the point is, is we lost a lot of that. And there's a, there, not everybody is going to be a systems engineer. Or not everybody's going to be that. Are you running for mayor? Not at I all. I think you should. Well, do you know what? If I ran for mayor, I'd be, I'd be like voted out or I'd be assassinated within like a week because I would say shit that nobody would listen to. No, like, but... They wouldn't want to hear. No, but you're an honest man. The way you're talking is an honest man. You're it's telling the really person on the street the honest to God's truth. Well, that's the... And, you, and you say the F-bomb. You're not like a mealy mouth politician. Well, you can't Professional that, politician. Can't, I can't... If I was the mayor, I couldn't swear... Why not? Because then I'd be Rob Ford. What's the matter Even with Rob... Even though Rob, I look like... No, but you'd be you Rob know, Ford without the cocaine. That's true. Right? And without the crack pipe. Oh, you, but you got a resemblance to his brother, who's yes. a big, chubby, fat guy who's right. got a lot of money and uh, oppresses people, pushes uh, them around. Well, you're not a push around guy. No, I, I absolutely but, am not. But no. you're a person that people would listen to. I think so. You got enough Which, handsomeness. You haven't met my kids, have you? Uh, they don't I met your listen. wife. I kind of liked her. Hey, enough of that. You know, I did have a good time with your wife. Just saying. Oh, oh I got to end the show. And this has been Flatbed Tonight. I'm Chris Haas. Thanks for watching.